I'm Sarah. I'm here today to do our July art journal page and every month this is just something I've been playing around with here let me okay um we do an art journal page and I've only this is my second year doing it and it's basically for me to use some things because I jump around so much in my art. I really, really enjoy the painty, wet media, so I wanted to continue that, and by forcing myself almost, not forcing myself, but by doing one page a month, I get to do that. It's just a time for me to play with all the yumminess that I love about mixed media. Um, and so, we are on the month of July. Last month, no, this is May, I did some dots because that's what I was into and I wanted to do a black background and see how that would work out. I should probably put some type of finish on that, like a, at least a coat of matte medium or something because it feels like it's going to um, get messed up. This was June, a little songbird, and I did another dot piece so I figured I would just put it in there too. See, this one definitely has a coating on it. Oh, that's cool. You can see the difference. This, Yeah, you can definitely see the difference. Anywho, um, I'm kind of feeling like it's going to be um, a little more, I should say, or a little less mixed media and a little more just painting. Um, I've been playing around with some new paints. I, I, I very rarely get new art supplies anymore because I have so much. I was a decorative painter for years and I have tons and tons of craft paint. So I don't like to buy new, but I did mention in a previous video too that I had gotten these, um, just a few colors. How many? About six or seven colors. Seven colors of the Media Fluid Acrylics by Deco Art. So I was playing around with those. I also grabbed a pack of the Jacquard Lemire paints. And these are um, actually, I think they're basically for fabric, but this was a metallic set. And they were little and I couldn't resist. <laughs> and I had a coupon. Because I, I have some of these in a bigger, in this size. I had a few of them and I loved them. They're very um, pigmented and anyway, yummy, yummy, yummy. And then since I've been dot painting, I've been getting a few colors in craft paint, kind of all the different. So this is Craft Smart, Apple Barrel, and another Craft Smart, but they're either satin or gloss or metallic finishes because that's what I've been using for dot painting. So I'm just kind of putting all my favorites and I went oh and then I also came across these hello haven't used these a bunch these are the Dina Wakely media heavy body paint so I have heavy body craft paint uh, fluid acrylics and then these are just called metallic acrylics but they're super fluid and they're for fabric basically but um you know, I just thought, well, what? they're gorgeous colors. I mean, I tend to buy what I love, right? I don't know. I guess this lapis, I was watching a lot of her um, tutorial videos at the time, and so the, she probably recommended these, um, Dina Wakely. Anywho, so I was playing around in this art journal, and I just used a credit or a gift card to apply some of these. Now, this is the Diane Reevely art journal, and it's a really cool paper. It's kind of like Manila five file folder. Um, and it's like really smooth. And I don't know if it's been treated with anything. But anyway, I just went straight onto the paper with the paints. Um, so I used greens on here. So probably this and this. Maybe those are the only two. I did it a couple days ago. Um, but just like this metallic. This is called metallic olive green it kind of separates like there's gold in there or something I don't know and even this one this one's called green gold so it could be the green gold but it's like the gold is so popping so I was just so inspired okay then this page 
I probably just used the magenta. Well, that's quinacridone red. I have quinacridone magenta, and then I probably used halo pink gold. So look at that magenta, though. The pigment of that. So that's why I really, really wanted to try these fluid acrylics. And so for today's art journal page, I really just want to play with these new paints. So if you don't have them, you can paint along, it's fine, but this is my chance to get in here and play with some things that I never use. I mean, I have all these supplies, so I really want to use them. Um, and then I just really wanted to try, this is, I think, the, the yellow, primary yellow probably, and then this is the purple halo violet gold you can see a little bit of flecks of gold these paints are so amazing okay this <laughs> is a lot and I just put on some um, daddy vans I think it's called where the heck's the oh there we go daddy vans it's beeswax furniture polish and I got this idea from um, Patty Tolly Parish but it's super shiny right now I did a background on here that I really did not like. I did stenciling and a bunch of stuff. I painted it over with black, which you can barely see any of the black popping through. A little bit. Then I just, I just went, I just covered it up and then I just put a bunch of flowers on it. But I also used, I used these paints, but I used this, um, this gilt color, which is a gold in the Dina Wakely, with this little um, nozzle on it. And I, like, again, it's been sitting in my drawer and I never use it. Now, this is not one of those fine point ones. It's definitely a much thicker because I think I have. Yeah, this is the fine tip applicator. Oh no, it's still not. This is the Dina Wakely one. This one. I have these that I've never used. This is called, I want to see the difference in the size of the tip. The fine line applicator. This is a 0.5 millimeter. Yeah, it's definitely a finer um, size for sure. Sorry, guys. I mean, I don't know if you can tell because this one's black, you can see it more. But it's really, yeah, this is definitely much thicker. And then there's this little um, wire that you put back inside to keep it from getting um, clogged up. But I've never used these. Like, I think reusable, airtight, non-clogging, they probably want you to use, like, um, airbrush paints or something like that. Something really fluid. So probably these fluid acrylics would go okay in here. I've just never done it yet. So for today... That was kind of a long introduction. Sorry about that. But anyway, so this is kind of cool. I also used the, um, which I never used. So I was just, sit I just sat down and tried to do um, the Stabilo pencil. This isn't it. I don't know where it is. My Stabilo All. And that's what I outlined everything with. And I was just super sloppy and just played with the paint. And the pigment is so yummy. So anyway, and then at the end, I just took this gilt. And just made some swirls and little ziggly zags and stuff like that. And then this is just uh, whatever colors I had left that I just kind of, again, I just put a few drips and pulled them across the page. This is silver and gold um, and some red. So, all right, that's that. Now, for today, for those of you who would like to paint along, I use either mixed media paper or um, watercolor paper because it's nice and substantial. It's a thick, it's kind of thick. And I cut down my, here, this like watercolor paper. It's 9 by 12, so I cut it in half to make it 9 by 6. So you just cut a piece. But see, this is really sturdy paper. Now, for today, I'm just not sure. I'm gonna, I'll get out my sketch pad and I'll show you what I'm going for. So this was something that I saw and it's, it was on a towel. 
Um, it is summer, guys, and I've been to the beach. I have been in the ocean. Awesome. I'm going to try and zoom in, see if you can see what I'm doing here. Basically, this is upside down. So you have your page, and what I'm dis dis debating is, I loved how the paints looked when I used the card and just went like this, and it really thins them out, and I don't have to use too much, but I don't know how I'm going to do this because it's a layered um, idea. So I have... The idea is to do these little fish, just basic kindergarten goldfish or something, right? Really simple. And maybe go, maybe do one in this way and one this way. And then we're going to have seaweed coming up. So the seaweed's going to go all the way up the page. So the background will be blue, the seaweed will be the green gold. And then the fishies, of course, we can make whatever colors we want. We can, I'm tending towards the cool colors, right? Or the warm colors, the reds, orange, yellow, <coughs> purple, whatever. And I mean, it would probably look nice if they were all the same color, right? So you could do it tone on tone. So this is my, right now, that's what I'm kind of deciding. He's a sad fish. He's sad. He's looking up at mom, like, mom. He's going to have a crown on. Um, anywho, so that's what I want to work with today. So to do that, the only thing I have to decide is do I want to prep the surface because paper is a porous surface. I'm going to zoom back up because you know how I get with zoom. It's porous, so once I put this paint on, it's going to suck right into the paper. I think I am going to go ahead and put... Um, Gosh, I think I'm going to coat this with matte medium. I'll be right back. All right, if anyone's following along that doesn't know what matte medium is, it is, it is basically a medium, a painting medium that it, it'll seal the surface and make this a solid background so that my paint has somewhere to sit instead of just sucking right down into this paper because it's mixed media watercolor. I'm not sure which I had. It, it was already cut. What I've decided to do is just take, this is, you know, trial and error, never did it before. This is regular printer paper. And I'm going to take my greens. And this is going to be porous too. So I don't know if it's going to work, but I wanted to do it on camera. Um, I'm just going to use these two greens for right now. And I could brayer this on, but I want to see, hmm, I think brayering it on would probably be a good idea. But what I'm thinking is, I'm going to do it in layers. So we'll do our background. See, let me let this dry. Because I'll do the background in the um, credit card technique. So I'm just going to put color on here in all my blues and get a water background. Then this is going to be for the seaweed. And then the next one will be for the um, fish. So I think I'm going to briar this. I'm going to use my little briar. This is called a briar. And it's just a little rolling pin, like a paint roller. And it's a mess. And I have a new one that I don't want to use yet. <laughs> and I'm going to put some of this out. This is called green gold. And see what this looks like. little bit more. I don't think I'll need too much because like we're only working on half the page but I wanted them long enough. Oh, why did I keep putting it on that side? It'll probably look cool. Alright, whatever Sarah. Um, and then I'm going to use this color which is called metallic olive green. I really don't want to, and I'm a heavy hand, and I always forget to be gentle. See how I told myself, be gentle, Sarah. So I don't need to go pow, pow, pow. But I can't help it. It's like part of who I am. 
I'm going to go sideways too. I don't love the bloppiness. I think I'm going to do another one. All right, now that I've told myself to calm down, I'm going to do another one. And I'm going to just do it this way. And then I'll have more options because this is the same size as the paper. All right, that's what I'm going to do. All right, so let's start again. See, I like to show you my mistakes too. But I'm going to remember calm, gentle, easy, relax, take it easy. Gently, gentle. Or fill up the whole page if you want to. It's fine. I just want to, this is my own therapeutic thinking, okay? I'm talking to myself because this is what I need to think of in my journey, my art journaling journey. I have to remember these things because, but you might not have to. You may be a gentle soul. So seaweed is a cool, I saw a thing on 60 Minutes about seaweed. They're starting to grow it as a crop in the ocean and um, they're cooking it and eating it and it has a lot of good stuff in it. So we may all be having seaweed on our plates at some point. All right, so that was the green gold in the fluid, the DecoArt Fluid Media Acrylics. Now I'm gonna go in with the metallic olive green. And I'm just putting it out on my um, craft mat, just, you know, as a palette. I do have palette paper, but um, gentle, Sarah. Gentle. All right. You know, a little harder than that. <laughs> some yellow. I don't have any other greens. I have a lot of blues. I have a gold, just a metallic gold, but I think the yellow would look pretty. So I am going to put some. This is called primary yellow. Very gentle. So it seems like in my art journaling journey, the brayer has become one of my favorite tools. This little thing here, this little rolling wheel. And that comes from uh, Kate Crane. See, there's a lot of white still. I think I'm gonna go back in with a little more of this green. And she does a lot of jelly printing and um, that you use a brayer when you jelly print but she also does a, she kind of discovered because you brayer off anyway onto a piece of paper that it's just beautiful why is this not spinning it's kind of pretty when it has, it's, because I never, like I said, I'm a heavy hand. I don't generally leave any white space. I mean, if you saw that art journal page I just showed, it's hard for me to leave that white space. All right, I think I'm going to be done. It looks green enough. It's got yellow, and it's got the dark. So all three colors are there. I'm going to set that aside to dry. Look at the difference. This one has a lot more gold looking, and I mean, that could be a cool piece of seaweed. I may end up cutting both of those and using them. So I'm going to use both of those. And now we're going to create some with 
cool colors. So I hope they're cool. I think I think I get confused with warm and um, cool colors. So the pinks, yellows, oranges, stuff like that, and then the blue, green, yellows. I don't know because yellow can kind of. I don't know. I'm not a professional. Look at your um, color wheels, and you'll see the colors that are next to each other on the color wheel because they won't make mud meaning if you mix them they don't just turn to brown that no, that's not my favorite look in art journaling all right what fell um so this piece maybe i should try i'm gonna use red magenta this vermilion is like your orange then this is called wait where is it this one halo pink gold and i think that's it but i also have this met this is actually a gloss pure pink i might have to do that so i don't know guys and then i'll do um a page of blues too so this is just what I'm gonna use for to collage the pieces on with so let's go with I'm gonna go Oof, this quinacridone magenta is so vibrant so let's see if I can be gentle with this look how vibrant <gasps> OMG so gorge Is that enough? Not really. I'm going to do more. I think I'm going to go this way too on this one. This is for the fish. I want to go to this Atlantis where these fish hang out because these are some gorgeous fish. <laughs> And then this page can also just be used as a collage paper in another project. So I'm just creating kind of some a colorful uh, piece of paper that you can cut apart and use and stamp on and do whatever you want. Actually, we could do some mixed media stuff to it. This is not this is not where I was going, by the way, with this page. But this is what happens. It just turns into a little bit of an intuitive right intuitive painting is when you just do what you want I am from um, decorative painting and so I'm gonna put some of this gloss pure pink on here this is just um, an acrylic paint so it has no metallic or, or pearlescent it's kinda just a gloss so let's see what that looks like anywho um, what was I saying yeah, so in decorative painting, the style like toll painting, you're told what color, they give you a pattern, and you use specific techniques. So this is so different, honestly, for me. And it's a lot, it was very stressful in the beginning because I was confused. I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing because there was no end game you know but it's become fun now so I'm gonna go with this orange this is called vermilion and these actually Kate Crane thank you so much I I didn't even message her I left it in the comments of one of her um, Facebook posts that I was looking to invest in a few of the fluid media acrylics and if she couldn't live without just a few of them, what would they be? And so she told me, and, I, and that's the colors that I got. Because I might not have picked a vermilion. I just wanted to see, being that she's more experienced with them as well, 
what she would suggest and, and so she did that and that and then that's what I got this is not spinning all right I know I'm taking forever so I'm gonna do one more color on here because it's this halo pink gold and it's a very sheer one halo pink gold um, and it's kinda it's pink but it's so metallic it's so pretty so hopefully I need more I need more so gorgeous these uh, jacquard paints actually work really well on your um, polymer clay as well. So if you guys like polymer clay, which I know a lot of you do, and I haven't gotten back to it yet, but I will. I mean, come on, how gorgeous is that? Okay, so then I just don't want to waste that color. I should have been doing this the whole time. But see, see how, how do they do that? How do they, oh wow, it's so gorge. All right, then, all right, my background, I've just painted it with the matte medium, so now I'm ready to apply my background colors. And I am gonna use the OMG. I, oh, so gorgeous. Just going to use the, um, the blues. So I have, this is pearlescent turquoise. I have cobalt teal hue. I'm not going to use this. It's too dark. And I think I'm going to use this satin then. I'm going to use, so this is, let's see. Yeah, there's three different shades. Um, don't think I want to go with the darker see these are very similar but she suggested both of them one is much much darker I'm afraid of it I'll do it you know what I could always just do it around the edges maybe I'll do that so let's just go with these two first these two and I'm gonna use my where's my card there it is And I'm just going to put a few drops. This is the pearlescent turquoise, I think, right? Hopefully. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was this. Now I'm going to do the pearlescent turquoise. Try and make it in some of the spots where I didn't do it yet. And I think I should, but see how, I don't know. I just like the way that looks and it's for a background. I probably should have done it this way. Oh, dang it. I'm going to do some of the dark. No, I shouldn't. I'm going to go back with this and do one more. And I'm going to go this way. like going both ways but I do feel like I should have just gone across
I like it. So, the other thing I was thinking was, I do think I want to do some stamping and stenciling. I'm going to do circles, because that'll kind of look like, um, yeah, maybe I'll do it with, I don't know. White makes sense, right? But I should probably do it at the end. I think I'll do it at the end. Let me just do some, a little bit of stamping. This is the uh, Dana Wakely Ocean. I'm going to use Ocean. That's a good name for it. And just do some of my standard... Um, this is my script stamp. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it. You can see it. It's very subtle. Why can't I make a short video, you guys? Because real time is real time. I'm going to go a little darker with, I guess, I don't really, I guess I should have done it with this. See, these circles would be cool. Should I just do it lightly? Look how dark that is, though. It's way too dark. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Um... I like these. See, I could use paint for this too, because I don't even know if this is going to pick up the ink. It did a little. I have a smaller one of these that probably would have been better. Just, that's all I want to do because I'm getting carried away. I think we could, I'm going to let that dry and we can add a little bit of something to the seaweed though. For sure. I have this green. I don't really have a lot of greens. I have a turquoise again. So let's just see if that green shows up. I'll do circles. I'll do the circles on the green. Although, the letters might be cool. Let's just go for something different. And stenciling on here would be super cool, too. So you're just going to get a little bit of it, because I'm going to cut these um, into seaweed shapes. I do want this lettering. I love the um, the script. Color is perfect.
Um, all right, and that's it for that. And then the fish. Do I want to add something to the this? These fish are flipping bright. How did I not? Oh boy. Why do I have such a hard time keeping things calm? Um, I have this fuchsia. That might show up. I could probably do red. I don't think this red, this is called ruby. I think I'll do ruby. I'll do some hearts, just a couple. I have this heart stamp. Oh, see black got on there. I went I went into the other stamp pad <laughs> right next door to it because I'm not looking where I'm going. All right, I'm not even going to use the fuchsia. The fuchsia is looking bright. All right, so now... I am going to do it this way. Hmm. Kind of want them to go all the way up the page, so I'm just going to go. Just really loose seaweed lines. A couple of different heights and thicknesses. Oh, that one's too skinny. I don't like that. There we go. But I, I want to stop here. But see how fast I'm going? I'm not really thinking it through. That one's way too touchy there. It has to be couple of short ones. Didn't really leave any room for any short ones, did I? So I have to cut those out and then I'll place them on here. And then for the fish, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to do, <clears throat> just have to remember the size of the page. So I, I only want about three of them. <clears throat> I'm just going to do like a figure eight. That one's cute. Don't worry about the face or anything because um, well, he's little. So I'll go a little bigger. And then... I like them. Now, right when I cut them out, they're going to be a little, you know, so it's going to be like a teardrop and a triangle. But I think those will fit on here. First, I use that part. I want to make another one over here. He's little. I like him. So I'm going to cut those out. I'm going to cut out all my seaweed. Here it is, and my fish, and then I'll be back, and we'll start gluing, and hopefully it's going to come together. I'll be back. All right, I think it's going to be great, you guys. It's turning out fantastic. I need a some type of brush to apply matte medium, or I think yeah, I could use. I'll use collage podge because I have it, and I like it. It's a liquid adhesive, water resistant, glue, sealer, and finish. So it's everything. Um, and I, I've cut a bunch of different sizes and shapes. These may go on the front. Like I may put a couple on top. I could probably do a long one on top too. So I don't think I want to do all of these um, in the background. Some will go in the foreground. Maybe five. I think I'll do five in the background kind of overlapping each other all right so let me just start doing it so basically basically I like using a little piece of this um, deli paper but I could just throw it away 
Deli paper is really cool to do um, collage papers on too. But I'm really liking that we used um, printer paper because it's very light and it won't, it'll adhere really nice. And to do collage properly, you should do both sides of the paper. Um, but I'm very, I'm lazy when it comes to this type of stuff. I don't know why I like to, I don't follow rules all the time. And it's not my husband's favorite thing about me. But I mean, it works. And and, and important, like, see, I should have put it on the back, is what I'm saying, on the back of this green paper, too. Oops. I just got glue on the back of that paper. Um, so, it may not adhere as well. Maybe I'll just at least do the tip of it. But it's down. Ooh, some of that green is coming off. You know why? I don't know. It might be the ink. Ooh, so I don't want to push too hard. Let me get a butt wipe. My butt wipes keep falling. I don't know why the green, see the green pigment? It could be the ink, which I used archival. Maybe it's the fabric um, paint. I'm not sure, but I'm going to keep going. Because having a little green back there isn't the end of the world. And I'll do this one. That looks super cool. So I could go off camera and do this because it's time consuming and I don't want to make this video super long because real time, see look, so you should just go like this. Put a little glue on the other side of the paper because then it just sticks better. And it can overlap, it can um, hang off the bottom and off the top and then I'll just cut it. And I'll just do a quick coating down it. I don't want to play too much because it seems to be pulling off the green. All right, so I'll be right back. I'm going to adhere about five, I think. I didn't adhere the fish yet, but it's looking a little crowded. I decided I think I'm going to adhere this little guy <laughs> before I put these seaweeds on. <clears throat> because then he can be under these. So let's put him on. I'm trying to put a little on the, it's definitely worth it and I, I really should just do it um, to put glue on the back. And I cut off their tails because they were just little triangles attached so I'm just gonna um, to just stick it right near where it would be you know there we go and then I'll put these two and they can kind of go over top of it I think I had this one on the inside I like it here. So I think I'm going to put this one right over top of that and then this guy right here. Yeah, for some reason I I've got green coming off onto my brush when I use, I'm picking up green somehow, but 
It didn't seem to happen when I did the pinks. And then you can just, I can actually wipe off the blue part if the green's getting on there. But I think that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to adhere these fish there. And most of them are going that way. And he's going the opposite way. But look how pretty the colors look. I'm so happy. Um... You know, so I'll play around with where I'm going to place them, but I think that's where I'm going to go. And then maybe I'll put a small piece of seaweed on top somewhere. Like, I don't know. It depends. Because it kind of looks cute. I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish there. Um, let's see. I think I would put like maybe one more piece of seaweed right here. No. Maybe I don't need it. I have little pieces, like a little piece. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. We shall see. I'm going to adhere these. I'll be right back. So now I'm pulling a little bit of inspiration from this polymer clay piece I did, but I want to create a little bit of sand bottom to the ocean. And since I have all these yummy paints, I have metallic bronze, um, gold, and this is metallic gold. Um, should I try the purple? Halo Violet Gold. It's so gorge, but I don't think that's, no, that's not what I'm going for. I'm going to use these, these three. And just my brayer again, and I'm going to create another piece of paper. Then I can just cut a piece on the bottom to make some sand. And then I want to use, did I just do that one? Nope, this was called metallic bronze. I'm going to do the gold. just really being messy. I don't like that that's in there. And I'm going to do more of that bronze because I'm going to do this and then I'm going to cut it out and put it on the bottom of my page. I'll be right back. So I'm just going to take my paper cutter and I put this bra, um, this is called pewter. I put that, but I'm going to take my paper cutter and just get a straight line. And then I'm going to kind of see how much I need. I don't need very much. I'm just going to take my pencil. Yeah, I really don't need a lot. And just make a curvy line and cut it. glue that down there. Let me have to come up with little faces, but I think I, it kind of hit me when I was saying I'm a rule breaker and all that stuff, I was like, swim your own direction. Something like that, or 
swim against the tide, right? That could be a good um, quote for this page. It just turned out that way that I have three little fishies heading in one direction and one. See, I should have done the opposite side. I always forget. So I'll do this right here at least. It just, it definitely, whoops, it definitely makes it stick better. Don't use your good brushes for this, guys, because as you say, I am brutal, but I love it so far. See, I have a little piece of the um, seaweed sticking out. I'm just going to take my scissors and cut that off. All right, super duper. I'm in love. I love it. I love the brightness. Um, so what's left? Well, I never did use that darker color of the blue. I'm going to shade because you know how I like to do that. I think I'm going to go around gently with this teal. It's a satin and I'm going to float it and I'll just do a little I won't do the whole thing on camera but I'll do a little float lesson <coughs> I use an angle brush and I think I might use this one it's this is not my um, decorative painting angle this is my beat up more of my mixed media angle but it has an angle to it so I corner load it and then I blend the paint so that it goes from dark to medium to water. And that's going to create a graduation of color. See, it's super dark. I should definitely go down in size because, see, I'm such a heavy hand. But this is how I end up outlining everything. So, I mean, I like the way it looks. So... You can use your, um, see I'm just pulling it away because I don't know why, but this is looking really um, oily almost. But if you, you can use your, um, what was I going to say? They're, they're called pit pens, India ink. But this is just how I like to do it because it's a, it's a technique that I am just very comfortable with. I really love the way it it um, gives depth to the page and I'm very good at it like so I like having it on my pages I'm gonna go right over the fish I should have probably done that in a like a more fishy color so I'm gonna do this to all the seaweed pretty much definitely because um, Everything's kind of just kind of blended into the background right now. And I want to bring it out. I want to make it show up. So this is one of the ways that I do that. If I keep the blue just on the blue, so instead of going over the seaweed there, I, I can shade the seaweed with green. And so this is quite a lot of work. You can do the whole thing with one color and you'll still get that the result of um, bringing your focal images to the foreground. And that's really all I want to accomplish. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to go off camera and just create some depth and make things come forward a little bit. I'll be right back. I just wanted to see it on camera because it's really super subtle. The blue. I'm about to do the green. I wanted to show you the difference. But this is a black green. It's a way darker color. Like I think I could have gone darker. 
sometimes it's not good so I'm gonna try this this is a dark 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 green and what I want to do is just go on top of the fish like separate them off the background off the but I don't want it to look too off color but so I'm trying to be I had to go get kiwi she was really yelling in there she's such a boss such a bossy bird I'm really trying to be soft not you know overwhelming but I don't know I think it looks good I'm gonna keep I'm gonna stick with it really it's just kind of anywhere the fish touch the seaweed that way I can separate them from it mm. Yeah, the blue isn't really as popping as I thought it would be. The shading. I love the colors, though. The colors are gorge. And right here. And actually, anywhere where the seaweed's overlapping, and it's really not overlapping. But right here. And then I'll go along the bottom. And I could do so much more, but I think the brayer technique has the lights and darks that I really wanted. So now it's time to jazz up the fish. <clears throat> I think the magenta could do a good job, but I'm going to go with a color. It's a flat. Um, I'm going to use this Mendocino because there's so much metallic on here right now I really just wanted to um, yeah alright and I'm also going to just give them little faces and so I'm going to create a line here and I'm going to create a little uh, separation there I think that's all I want to do and then maybe I'll just do little stripey marks and stuff I'm not sure uh, what color um, not, I don't know I think I'm I don't want to go too much further I think I, I overdo it I just like it like this I, it doesn't have to be super elaborate like more you know overdone so, and I tend to do that more is more with me. I like it like that. <laughs> uh, Alright, so this is called Mendocino Red, and it's a really pink red, but it's not metallic. So let's just put some... And 
and then on the tail so I think I'll go on the fin and maybe I'll put some little white stripes or something on there I want to I know I want to put circles either bottle caps or something um, see this can be the red I think I did it with blue so it's looking a little purple but that's okay because it's behind everything it would be dark Aquaman the movie is coming out it looks really good I saw the trailer for it I love Jason Momoa I just like I just like them um, I don't know but it the movie does actually look good that looks cute Let's see how they're starting to come to life If you guys have never been snorkeling, like when you put a mask on and a little snorkel hose thing and breathe out of it and just swim along the surface of the water and see fish under the ocean, it's such a beautiful thing to do. You should really put it on your bucket list. It is amazing. Um, I was lucky enough to do it in Hawaii and we did it in St. Thomas too, but Hawaii was amazing. So I'm sure like St. Thomas, the water was rougher and I don't know if we were at like a good place really. We didn't, it was a lot more murky, the water. All right, so that's good. Then on the bottom, I need to shade. I'm going to do it with, I don't know if I want to go that dark. Yeah, this is called asphalt. No, you know what? I'm going to go with my burnt sienna. Burnt sienna is dark enough because this is such a light brown. Just going to go across the bottom. I can go along the sides too. Payne's gray would have worked just fine too for the shading. Oh, you can't even see that because I was zoomed in. My bad. Look how out, Kiwi. Don't bite my ear. I decided not to put another piece of seaweed because he's the star of the show and I don't really want to cover him. Like, I wish I would have done it right there before and I hadn't cut or covered him up because I don't want to cover him up because he's the star. <clears throat> But let's put some circles in white. Uh, just straight white. This is actually a satin white. And let's put a couple circles. I have pen tops and bottle caps and all types of things. So I'm going to use a couple of those. Not my biggest ones. Maybe definitely have this cap lid. What is it called? A pen cap. Not a cap lid. I don't want to put too many. And 
and I want to put some words like maybe I'll find one in the Tim Holtz thing that says follow your own path something like that I mean you could do more stamping on top now stenciling swirls whatever you want to do add black as always and I think I'm definitely going to add um, some pen I'm going to outline everything because I just think that makes it so pretty you could even put like little flowers coming up from the bottom there's so much you could add to it and just go crazy um, elaborating on the design um, you know what little fishies have that I didn't put was like a little gill or a little like a little side flipper thing so something like Something like that I'm gonna put on there and then they need eyeballs and these fish are just gonna maybe they won't have mouths like maybe I'll just do a little dot for an eye I won't do it right now but um because I'll touch it and I'll mess it up but let me go around their little fin and make that pop out wow that's so cute I don't like that I, I overdid it with the uh, this one. It was like almost a circle. Kiwi, is that cute? Do you think it's cute, Kiwi? Do you guys talk baby talk to your animals? I don't know why, but I definitely do. I talk baby talk to babies, too, though. Right, Key? I could highlight <clears throat> a little bit, but look how cool he looks. He looks so cool. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to play around, and then I'll come back with my finishing touches. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, it's done. He's cute. Look. So I ended up stamping out, I found all the words be to yourself in the um, Tim Holtz, I think it's, these are what I use all the time, let's see, one of these, the bigger words one, this one, uh, sorry, big chat, um, so I found be to yourself and then I found true, because I was just kind of trying to find something that would say, um, you know, swim in your own direction. But, you know, if you're a murderer or something, don't be true to yourself. You know, you should change that. But, <laughs> I mean, you don't always have to go along with the pack, right? So, it's kind of cute that it turned out like that. Um, and then I did end up going around everything with my Uniball Vision. It's my go-to. Um, it's a fine line waterproof pen. And I got these at um, Amazon online. I got a whole box of them. The last thing I think I'm going to do is go around it with this um, heavy body acrylic in the gold. That's the last thing I'm going to do. I wrote July and my name and the date. I gave this little guy some orange polka dots and a little cheek. And he's got his eyes closed and the other ones are just have their eyes open. And that's it. But I mean, there's so much more you could do. Like, I mean, I put little lines on that fin and this fin and that you know what I mean but you could embellish so much more and really make it your own but that's the thing be true to yourself in in a way that I've been creating my art journal pages like I kind of like the idea of I could just go like make some dots I don't really like that but 
because it just looks so clean and neat. But they're not coming out like dots. I'm going to take it off. And the that's a good thing about that pen. You can take it off in the beginning. So if you really mess up. See, like July's been on there for a while because I just went outside um, for a minute. But um, anywho, do what you want. But I am going to try this. And it's, it's thicker, like I said. I don't know if I shared. Yeah, I did in this video. It's been a long video. <laughs> So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to make some swirly lines to frame it. And that's it. I love it though. It was so fun. So thank you so much for playing along. This is my July art journal page. And I'll be back in August. I'm going to go spend some time with Matt. Matt's here. Oh, he's not here. Mm, i got to bring him a vacuum. But anyway, I hope you like it. It's super cute. Thanks for watching.